Hello friends and welcome back. Thank you for coming back to another video. As you can tell, we are setting up the February bullet journal. And also, as you can see, I am literally cutting up the pages in my bullet journal book. And I was really scared to do this at first, but I decided I wanted to try doing the Dutch door system. Um, and that's basically just where you have one spread and you can see either side. And you also have like pages that are cut down uh, to show the rest of the page, but also so it's like a way to expand your spread basically. Um, and it's also just kind of fun and I've seen a lot that look really cool. So this is my first time doing it. And as you saw when I was sketching it out the first time before I recorded, I did mess it up because I went from the bottom of the page up. So it was ascending, but I wanted it to be descending from top down. And so I had to end up fixing that, but it was an easy fix. And this month I'm doing like a lavender spread. You'll see it in a minute. And so I was just swatching some of my purples. Um, I did get this inspiration from a, another YouTuber who I cannot remember right now. I will put it on the screen and I will go ahead and post it at the bottom in the description. And yeah, so now I'm going to actually start putting ink on the paper and getting it ready for my spreads. I do make a huge, huge mistake. And when I discovered it, actually, while I was editing this video, I could have cried, but it's fine. I have since fixed it. Let me know if you notice it. So I am doing a, at a glance. And so it's just a mini calendar that has all the dates and days on it. Uh, I also decided to color the tabs uh, in different shades of purple, alternating just a couple of them. And one of them I made too dark, so it's, you know, kind of off, but it's okay. Purple is my favorite color, and I just love the way these tabs look, honestly. And it did take me a while because I had to kind of keep the pages separate. The ink in these Crayola, what are they called? Crayola Super Tips. They don't dry very quickly. Um which is kind of nice, but you know, so I had to try to keep it from leaking everywhere. And then I decided it does not look good with it not colored on the back. So I went through and also colored on the back. All right, and so we also have a couple of birthdays this February. Well, okay, excuse me, every February. Um, and then under my at a glance, I decided to write out my goals for the month of February. do need to apologize because the first page of my Dutch doors that was my habits or it is my habits page it did not record for some reason so um, you'll see it in the like flip through at the end but for whatever reason it did not record me actually doing it so the first page is habits the second page will be was books read for the month and I actually 
surprisingly have not finished a book yet. I'm working on Little Women, and if you know, that book is massive, so it is not going to be done anytime soon. And so the next uh, tabbed page will be my fitness tracker for the month of February. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I am doing a weight loss competition um, at the base we live at. So I've been really, really, really trying to get healthier and I have loads, not loads, but I have some fitness and health related goals right now. So I'm actually really excited to say that this page is getting a lot more love and attention because I've actually been working towards them. So that is really exciting. And this next page is going to be my social media spread where I record what YouTube videos I put down and anything that I post on Instagram. I just like to track how often I'm doing that. I'm trying to post more frequently on Instagram. And of course, I still have the two videos a week goal, which I did not hit last week because Kai was super sick. Um, and so that is, you know, it's just one week, so it'll be fine and life happens. So I just like to keep a running track of all my posts, basically. And this page I actually left blank originally because I couldn't decide how I wanted to set it up. But um, I went ahead and Pinterest, Googled, looked up some ideas, and I decided to just do a word count tracker on the right side. And I actually still don't know what to do on the left side. I want something to kind of track my progress in the drafting the overall picture not just a word count but like the overall novel writing experience so right now I'm still outlining but by this weekend it will be done and I'll be ready to start my rough draft and I am really excited for it so if you have any ideas on how to track my novel progress let me know and then also if you guys want to see my outlining process I can make it a video um I just didn't know if it would be interesting to anybody, so let me know uh, what you think about that.
am moving on to the last page. Uh, there's two little sections left and on the right, the left side, I used it to have a running list of video ideas I have. And then on the right side, I have a brain dump for just anything I need to throw down. And then on the very outside, I thought it would be nice to have a quote up in the top. And in the original poster, her video, she had the lavender flowers at the bottom and I thought it was beautiful and I just love the way it looks. So I decided to go ahead and use that idea. And then after that, she put petals everywhere and it's super, I just think it's beautiful. And so that about sums up my February bullet journal spread. After this part, you will see the final flip through. So, and if you want to see any more spreads of it, like filled out or anything, definitely go to my Instagram. It's in the description box. It always is. Uh, and yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of plans you have for February. And if you like the Dutch door system or aren't a fan, it was kind of hard to cut my paper the first time. I'm not going to lie about that. I was nervous. I would mess it up and ruin pages, but it actually turned out super beautiful and lovely. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Clock says three, but the night's brand new. Let's set it to two.